why do my eyelashes not look big on camera? Perfect. My eyebrows look good as they before. Ah! I'm tired. <coughs> How do I look? <coughs> Hey guys, it's me, Isabella. Please ignore my voice, and that's because I'm sick, which is what I was trying to avoid, but I had to get sick at one point because the weather here in California is just awful. So for today's video, I decided to do a what I eat in a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and for snacks, I eat chocolate. Eat in a day, but not really every single day. I kind of was extra for this video. Of course, you have to eat different things in each day. I wanted to make this video relatively like on the healthier side and easy quick meals to make. Just stay tuned like I, I promise you you're gonna love next week's video. Without further ado let's just get into what I eat in a day. I love to eat avocado toast and I definitely recommend you guys try it too so here are an overview of some ingredients that you need and I also prepared some bacon on the side and I just kept an eye on that. So first we're going to start off with the mixture for the avocado toast. I kind of just eyeballed almost all the ingredients so I'll link a similar video or more in-depth video if you want to see how to make this. I added olive oil, garlic salt, lemon, pepper. You can really just go crazy and you don't have to add too much because in the end we're going to add a, just a little bit more to make it all flavorful and then we're going to just mix that all together. Then you want to cut an avocado in half and as you can see right now, um, I'm going to be putting it into the bowl. I don't really know how to explain this but you can see right now. And usually for one person you eat um, two avocado toasts and all you need for one person is one avocado but I just used another one because I made some for my mom as well. After you're done with that, you just want to like smash it all together. It might take a while, but it will taste good in the end. Now it's time for the actual toast. If you don't want it toasted, then that's totally fine, but I prefer mine that way. I just use some buttermilk bread, but I also tried it with whole wheat bread last time and it tasted so good. Also, be sure to keep an eye on that bacon and don't forget to turn the stove off for like any of these. I didn't show it, but you guys should definitely do that. Now I'm just spreading the avocado mixture on top of the bread because this is essential. This is like what makes avocado toast avocado toast. <laughs> Also, most definitely should add more seasoning on top because it just tastes better. I added some pepper and some Parmesan cheese and it tasted bomb. To go with this, I added some washed blueberries on the side with some homemade juice, the avocado toast, and some bacon. And that is my breakfast. I made this sandwich which I actually got from a cooking book so if you want you can screenshot this or I will leave the cooking book in the description so I first started by turning on the stove of course and then I got a pan and added some olive oil again I kind of just eyeballed it and my mom actually seasoned this the day before which made it taste even better so I really recommend doing that now I'm just going to cook the chicken and I place that onto the pan and it said to cook each side for 2 minutes so that's what I did. Next I added some baby spinach and I didn't really know how much to put in but just put in a little bit extra because spinach does tend to shrink. Then I made a spread for the sandwich and it said to add some shredded cheese and some cream cheese so that's what I did. Next step is to put it in the microwave for 30 seconds and just keep an eye on it just in case. Cut the bread in half or however big you'd like it and then I also opened it in the middle so that way you can put all of the stuff inside. Pretty self-explanatory but you just want to put the spread onto the bread with a knife and then also you want to cut the chicken and just place it onto the bread and same with the spinach. 
Next, taking a mini maker and I am spraying it with some canola oil on both sides. Since this is both sided for the top and bottom, um, we just left it on for around like three to five minutes and it turned out really, really good. Much on the instructions, it said to cook each sandwich three minutes on the pan, but we just decided to do this because it was easier, but you can go ahead and do it either way you want. I took some Boom Chicka Pop and I took the real butter popcorn and put that on the side and it tasted so good together. Now it's time for dinner and we made some pasta, garlic bread, and salad and it was amazing guys, let me tell you that. <laughs> a layout of all the ingredients I use and we use butternut squash and pesto tortellini, a pasta, I can never say that. But first you just want to start off by cutting the garlic bread and of course placing it into the mini oven thing and we just kept an eye on that. So this step varies but you should definitely follow what it says on the back of your pasta and follow those instructions but we just put in some olive oil and garlic. I also want to put us two separate pans because one is for the sauce and the other one is for the pasta so just keep that in mind. Meanwhile we were waiting for the water to boil we actually started preparing the salad and you can just put whatever you want. We put a lot of seasoning, oregano, leaves, pepper, cheese, these are croutons, you can just do whatever you want and we also, also use some Caesar dressing. So in one of the pots, you want to go ahead and pour the pasta sauce in there. We also threw in some Parmesan cheese, pepper, and a garlic, I'm pretty sure. You want to make sure the water is fully broiled, if that makes sense, until you put the pasta in. But here is that. And it took, I think, around three minutes, but each pasta depends. Now the best part is to actually serve yourself so we put pasta on the plate and then we poured the sauce on top of that and we paired that with the garlic bread salad and some sparkling water. Alright, that was it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoy and up subscribe turn on that post notification so that you never miss out when I upload you don't want to not subscribe because my videos are lit uh, what's up with me today it's so late guys so I'm gonna quickly edit this video let's see how long that will take me to edit this whole video because it needs to go up in two days from now so I really hope you guys enjoy again I will see you guys next week bye guys Ow.